hello guys sorry for delay i was late i had some stuff to do and when i started uh, to get back into the computer uh, i just couldn't uh, find tables on ipoker i was just uh, last half hour waiting for uh, for the tables i wanted to, uh, to show today a uh, breakthrough on ipoker because there is a bad system here and uh, it has more features than on poker stars so let's go opening jacks check calling with the king jack in the four way pot this guy uh, is a fish he's stabbing into four persons he also stabbed before let's see okay we didn't see the hands but small size on the turn and now he's we don't have any sample he's wrapping like hand like ace five but is he betting ace five stabbing on the flop and betting it on the turn or he's just like slow playing here like deuces or fives and bet them on the turn with that size i don't have any sample on this guy and i can find him on the team stat man fold it just basing on the passive fish experience when they bomb a river passive fish they usually have a uh, nuts and that size on the turn seems so so suspicious he stepped four-way pot and in this line we will have a lot of ace x that's also the word the, the reason i can fold he's stepping like this all the guys are folding i'm i'm not folding ace high hand like ace queen ace jack and when he's betting like this we are always calling that hands so i don't feel uh, we'll have a lot of ace x on the river because he's basically wrapping here slow play like deuces and five that he a bet with a small size and uh, or a hand like ace nine ace five and i don't think ace five even with this size it can bet to get the, to the showdown mm, but i'm i'm not sure so basically here it's a slow play hand like ace nine he's a fish he can have like three four suited but that's basically it okay we'll try to do uh, the same things we did we did before uh, we'll try to talk about the hands uh, the other people also play <coughs> folding here uh, this and also here I have also some reads about the, the players so I'm gonna tell you when we were in the hand I will explain what type of reads I have and also I have a nice sample of these two guys okay this is a three bet let's see how this player reacts let's put it here calling around 20% so usual everything like normal also let's try to play the hands the other people play here is cut off versus small blind so we see that Timo is a big fish and now the, the aggression stats are higher we could call there I think I, I, I should have raised King Jack on the turn but on the river just based on the experience they they just don't put river fish too often passive fish at all and he sends you one zero so that's the reason just my experience but we will see now uh, through the hands we play how he plays and stuff like that mm. 
we're going to treat it this. We are having uh, this board. I'll check entire range because when p if he has hand like ace four of ace two of, he has a lot of ace six hands and he will have uh, much more ace six than we will, and he will also have combination of uh, ace three of and I ace nine of in the range. And that's the reason in a multi way against the fish on the on the ace high board I will have a check range. A safe fold. <coughs> Overbit shove as a bluff. This player do these things really rarely, and I mean, but it seems that he's overbetting. Huh, he has bluffs. I want to see a hand to see what the hand was so we can talk about it and he also called four five off multiway that's significant let's see now everybody checked he orbit so he's wrapping here polarized hand like a two pair and under now he's wrapping a full house and he has only a six and he shouldn't have a six off so a6 suited, pocket trees, he's squeezing 9, so he's wrapping a really, really narrow range with the 3x shell. And the guy snapped him. And here we need to take into account that the team has checked behind this 8 with the backdoor flush, 3-way. It's three bet. This guy is folding a lot and four betting a lot. Let's see his four bet on the position. So he basically only two out of three times he four bet uh, small boy versus big. Okay. Four six. I'm gonna also talk about the badge system when we uh, when we are in the hand. Let's see what happened here. For quickly opening Jack Ten. This guy don't that call. Big bro, wreck. Okay. Tributing here. This guy has a pretty narrow range. We can call for it. Let's see how much he folds. I'll call for. There is no. I'll do it. Basically, I did it. I saw Ace Deuce in his tributing range, so it has to be 
at least a normal range so king queen against that is not that bad a three fold and the problem is we will we will be trouble we will have trouble to find a table on on die poker let's see the stats of the big bro three bet things 7.5 it's probably around 14 percent small bet versus button and we are three ways so it will be higher in a three way he's see the thing in a triplet pots okay I don't have that stats on I'll stab now he has like nines always here jacks he has hands like a6 that probably won't bet here so I'm gonna bet again. I just can't check this. There is a hand. I mean, we have a lot of queen x that is always checking behind the flop. So uh, I will do it. Let's go to the multiway here. His multiway C bet is only 9.8. I will check behind here. So this guy is, will probably in a, a reg versus reg scenario have a check range like he should be on this type of the board. On most boards also. He's now again over betting with delay. And we see that he's doing that with a lot of uh, draws we are calling. I would say now that his orbit on the turn is bluff heavy. And it is based on percentages. We are going small here. We check behind the flop, we'll have a lot of ASEX. Uh, we want to bet them small here, and I'll bet it small. And he, he delayed with the ace king and checked ace king against us on the river. That's why I told you uh, on the first, I know this guy plays like fucking neat against me always. He's so not really betting. You see, he's not even check raising here with the ace king if he's if he's checking ace king on what he's putting us what the hand what what hands beats him pretty pretty bad play i mean i i'm betting here hands like he's the ace 10 and ace jack that are checking behind the flop no matter that he's uh delay de delay c betting with the or bet so my hands I can't say that they beat his uh, value range on the orbit on the turn, but still I will have bluffs and I need to bet hands like ace jack to protect my bluffs. Because if I'm pretty polarized in that spot on set that is checking behind, he will have always good call. So definitely pretty terrible play. And I just know that he plays like that. That's why I told at the beginning that he's pretty tight, but he he did bluff the fish with the orbit shove wrapping pretty much few combos only we're gonna call always with the ace jack suited cutter first a small blind let's see his uh, his forbidding range 
like three percent and I don't see the bluff that should be there I only see his king kings tens so net there is no okay there is ace nine suited which shouldn't be there but okay let's see in the four bit how he plays he made four bit he's betting every board delaying on the turn 60 percent so his delay on the turn is pretty very heavy we are calling with the ace jack here would be pretty significant if he has ace queen because ace queen should be showing here and i didn't see ace queen so let's see if he calls ace queen into a tribute it's really important in this spot because this queen off is a lot of bluff combos he can still have queens but we saw that he had ace nine suited so i'm thinking do we go smaller check here like one five one fifth we now look like we don't have a king and we basically look like this and i'm thinking now what he's gonna do with the ace nine or hand like i don't know his bluff and we look really really poor here and we're blocking ace king so we have to call with the ace jack it will be hard to find the table that's for sure i think i'll put one of the stars But I wanted to to show it on the eye poker because of the bed system, and we can talk about the bed system. It's pretty pretty interesting. We could also go here. We have a really big sample on him, uh, how he plays. Uh, so after check check turn in position, we see okay that he has bluffs and he's turning like pairs into bluff ace high so you see like hand here is a seven turn into bluff so that's what I, uh, uh, w what i was trying to say what he's going to do with his uh, four bit bluffs we saw that he has ace nine suited that's why i like the check call on the river we can go as a small like one fifth uh, i i don't mind that one fifth also it's pretty good i think because he won't uh, bluff raise me that hand can be really shove maybe but i would also do it with the king we saw that we had ace queen and we bet one third in that spot so this guy wouldn't uh, shove on us uh, uh, he wouldn't shove uh, shove on us uh, he wouldn't shove ace jack on our small bet so that's pretty pretty good So I like more that one fifth bet. Okay. Uh, I don't see. I don't have stats here. Small man versus early position. Uh, I'll just try to see on a set name. Usually I defend this type of hands. His tribute is ten percent. I don't have it positionally okay i found it positionally eight percent this is borderline call with the without against eight percent that's probably hands like 
h plus h jack of sometimes i would say mostly is queen of against that tight tight of the range preflop of eight percent this 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 card hits him great ace queen got there queen queen got there uh he should be betting entire range on that king because it hits him great and he should be doing one third size because it hits him so good and it hits me ba so bad because against eight percent we don't even have ace queen off in the colon range it's a four bit bluff so we just need to admit that uh, his range is way stronger and we just can't call again with the flush draw there with that flush draw at least uh, but he didn't use the correct side because uh, that hand that king hits him so hard he should be betting it small real small like one third and he can then bet uh, most of his range on that turn but with that smaller size and put us in tougher spots like this against also we just need to don't we don't need to defend six seven suited because uh, that king is really good for him we don't have straight in the range uh with the off combinations because we're folding his queen off and he has all of that in the range Reflecting here so that's significant in this spot really significant and with the smaller size it's much much uh, harder for us uh, smaller versus cut of orange has like sevens eights all that hands can bet or can check I will check them it's not 100% seabed but it's like 80% I'll just try to protect it a little bit like hands like nines and tens with a queen nine he's gonna st he should stab a lot for protection with hands like five sixes trees and again we're go we're now here defending that uh defensive bet on the river with one third and we can do it also with hands like tens and nines and one important thing is that you need to defend a lot against raises but this hand is clear call clear call here because i don't know what he's wrapping now he's wrapping trees here and ace five should be stabbing the turn because he blocks ace queen so definitely i'm calling here And that's good uh, about small bets because it puts uh, a lot of uh, his hands that he know he can call. He needs to think a way of mm, check backing with the stronger hands that he can do this because now he's not wrapping anything. He's wrapping pocket trees. Pocket trees are mm, pretty uh, standard step on the turn again as a bluff. So he's not trapping that. Ace five is a clear step on the turn, and he's basically not trapping anything. He's he's wrapping a slow play, like deuces as four and pocket fours that is checking back the turn, and that's not happening very often. So I really like those defending defensive bets. It can be really really useful in the game. I'll check other people. Dragon Tribet here against uh, Cartman. This guy is pretty nitty, and I I marked him as a nit. So it will be, and he's using really strong, uh, really uh, big size of Tribet. So against this type of players you can basically fold everything to a tribet because they are not tributing enough and they use a bigger size so 
you will want to forbid more forbid them more and call them uh, rarely you call them with just the hands that tops the best as a, as a tribute calls of the position just punish them because they're using that big size you just don't need to defend that much and they are nitty he has he has a small blind versus button like 14 percent usually it's like 19 and he has a uh, tree range narrower than it should be tree 3-4 big blind versus button around 22 percent that's a ace 10 off plus He's sibeting in you see entire range so he's sibet most of his hand here fives are call with the spade let's see his double barrel range see here you see folding 70 percent here i'm just thinking do we bluff fives there I think we want to bluff them on a hand like queen or king and te or ten and don't bluff here because that ten uh, queen or king hits are hits are uh, perceived fl uh, floating hands on the flop so I would bluff fives in that spot but we are not because he's betting so much he'll have all that pocket pairs that beat fives and fives are just not gonna win it enough we can bluff for sure on the spade but we need to turn them into bluff uh, pretty pretty uh, often i didn't do it now because the runout was so dry but usually it should be a bluff ace jack one third with most of the range uh, we see his range it's around 70 around 60 I apologize so he has all suited hands here uh, let's see how much he folds against us only 29 he's gonna have uh, like king highs here in the calling range uh, we can go with an overbet but I think he folds all around and the overbet and in position not that much uh, we can go to an overbet his range is pretty wide we can attack that range a jack is clear really high in small blind versus big man scenario and it will be most time good and the uh, board structure is favoring us quite a bit and uh, the best scenario then is to put pressure assassinato hello man thank you uh, we are that's why i'm doing two tables so i can talk more about everything um i'm tributing big man versus button but i have polarized range here but still hits this flop real hard uh and we can bet with one third most of the range still because you have st still age jack off in the range it's significant we also have queens and, and aces ace king that's all the hands that he doesn't have and this board even my polarized big blind range hits pretty strong i just need to do one thing i need to again there was some bug and uh, I, it's not out the topping at all so and I don't like this when I have two, two short stack players. Uh, eights here are not bad. Because here we'll be mixing sides. And there are hands that, uh, there are hands that want to bet bigger, hands like Jack nine, there are hands that wants bet small like 
10x with one third so mixing sizes and eighths I don't like that I'll just check this this guy and now we can just go for a defensive bet I'll go one fourth in this spot but we can go even lower than that one third here against small blind range he's probably fish so, so his small blind range will, will be I guess wider I would just see is this guy capable of checking behind he's wrapping king uh, king here uh, so is he aggressive or not I, I never played with him he's wrapping the king and he's definitely unaggressive as 25 aggression on the turn and I will fold against him again here we can go with small bet he's calling we are checking here I don't know if this guy fish or not he's a fish but he's passive I don't know this I will just go to see uh, because it depends do you want to bet small again or do you want to have check on the turn it depends on the structure of his range uh, I'll go now with the bigger size let's see if this guy is a fish he's definitely a big fish 88 zero I'll go with the big size here he's I don't think he will still play so when to show down 50 I think big size here is really good okay you see I just need to check this out to top it again because it's not out topping me and out this uh, I don't know this jubbly guy also but I didn't play on eye poker I didn't play if this is right uh, the green rag is going like this and he's pretty good drag but he didn't play a lot of hands so I will just put him as a wreck um, I didn't play on eye poker lately that's why I don't have sample on many of them there are new players I didn't play a lot I play a lot on stars because I played a lot on entities and stars so basically I played on last month mostly on stars and super sport creation poker site uh, because I played a lot of entities let's go here to see a uh, small blind versus big blind we see uh, he didn't bet uh, I'll check behind I can here we don't have a this is the board that he has a range advantage and we shouldn't then stab a lot I check behind that queen jack queen jack is pretty s strong hand so it shouldn't be checking back a lot but I did this time And now I will. Uh, I don't think this guy uh, is ever checking hand better than ours. Let's see his real regression 36. He's gonna bet hand that is better. Uh, let's see how he reacts. I would like to see how he reacts on uh, on our bets. And I should do it like this, but I didn't have time. fold river after check check turn out of position fold but like you see it's only 300 hands and we just can't get good conclusions from that sample but uh, let's say if we had the, this sample then you can make conclusions you see you can definitely see in a fold versus river bet pop-up so you're in the river spot you get this pop-up and you see okay I want to know how much guy falls on the river when it's facing a bet and you see here generally fold out of position and these are against sizes so you definitely see that he's folding a lot on big sizes on the river out of position and in position uh, like pot size plus and you see that uh, probably his leaks will be around here when he's checking the turn out of position and he's on the river he'll basically having a really tough time to defend because that has something to do with his checking range 
out of position and also within position so uh, these are the hotspots you can you can see and cool thing is you can see is he raising the or is a bluff in this spot I don't think that this player is doing that raising only a nuts and a straight which the ha how hands was played it's both practically nuts so he's not raising as a bluff and by doing this also when he called turn out of position he's pretty weak that means he'll probably check raise a lot of his good hands uh, four six jack uh, let's see his big blind versus small blind how much he folds so he folds against me 67 percent so she he this player will won't float me a lot even uh, i use a lot of one third so i'm just going to bet queen nine here uh, his range is around uh, six ten seven nine seven nine is also 62 percent and he has all suited hands so why the range he doesn't have for six softwares basically really important in this spot but we see that he's folding a lot of against uh, us so we're just gonna bet it even this hand is not the greatest uh, but against like 62 percent where when he has hands like seven nine off uh, hands like uh, all suited then six eight off I think queen nine can go uh, with bet one third. Even I defend big blind with 75, 70 to 75% against the small blind. I trip it uh, around 19 to 20 and uh, rest of the range is calling range. So because uh, people play really poorly small blind versus big blind, I noticed that when I saw pool analysis, they played poorly, they don't see bet enough, they don't see bet nearly enough, they should. Generally, uh, trend is toward lowering see bet out of position, and they're doing that, and but they don't uh, balance it well enough. So I think uh, you can call more than you are in position in big, big one versus small one scenario, and uh, if you have advantage, in the skill or skill advantage you can then easily play more hands and i see a lot of good regulars play like 60 70 percent and those first worst regulars like this one uh is playing like 50 five this is uh 57 this guy play 50 but he's a, a little bit nitty but definitely he's not defending or not defending enough but the good players are starting to defend really a lot nine ten open uh I, I would probably fold against him pretty tight tribute range uh big blind versus cut off his six percent i know that his big blind strategy is really poor because he's you see like four percent five percent you just don't need to defend against this type of players at all with this type of hands i mean i like to do it also but it shouldn't be done i will find your table so we can go here uh we can we can then leave this one five six six fold here uh you see that we have really a lot of six axes in the range. I defend like six four off, so I, I this hand is clear stab. And again on this table, I, I I'm not having the uh, top auto top included enabled. I don't know why. I really don't understand. In this hand is sometimes tripped, sometimes call, but he's falling 56% in position. Uh, that's the reason uh, he's falling 62%, for example, uh, to a big blind tribute. So I think it's better to be a little more polarized and tribute hand like queen eight suited, or queen nine suited, or king eight suited, than hand like queen jack. 
uh, here we'll be having a lot of checks behind clearly in this spot so I'm gonna just go to donking the turn uh, and I'm gonna just bet river like this he doesn't have a lot of 9x in the range uh, and he doesn't have uh, no uh, 9 off hand in the range so basically he has uh, 9 10 9 8 uh, we can bluff shove this because we are we can just do it like this because his nines are 9 10 9 8 and we have full houses here and also we have straight so it's not problem it's pretty strong hand to put into bluff range but his nines are the nines that he can fold and the nines that I know this player will fold to a shove and also we have queen nine there we have queen nine there we have jack nine there uh, we have pocket deuces that I can just donk on the turn because I know that this player will check behind a lot so it's not problem I'm end capped and I use uh, with smaller size I use also on my bigger hand and that nine is not greatest for our range so uh, I will uh, include my strong hands into one third and when he's raising like that I just know that he doesn't have straight uh, because when I don't turn he, he'll raise straight against me and uh, basically he's uh, on the river stuck with the hand like uh, 9 10 and we have a lot of full houses uh, small versus cut off uh, he never tribute against us I will fold queen 9 fold this and we just don't have it I'll just go like this we don't have that auto top pin again so I didn't uh, what I was trying to say I didn't play a lot but I remember a uh, few guys I have reads on I have reads on this guy uh, and my read I remembered the read co uh, clearly uh, always when he has nuts uh, on the turn uh, when we have a situation where I uh, uh, like don't or raise the turn when he had the nuts he was always playing it aggressively so I know when I just don't the turn with one third uh, I just knew that he was going to play aggressively his straights and he has only has queen 10 uh, suited and uh, that's his only straight because he didn't have it in uh, uh, off combos and I just know that on the river this guy will just fall to a jam. I can call queen jack, it's pretty strong, but I definitely know that he's gonna fold 9x on the ship. So, because we have so many straights and so many full houses that he understand that he's gonna, uh, that our range will just have really a lot of uh, value hand. And uh, I just knew that he will fold it, but it's, I think, pretty strong to turn into bluff. but I explain why I did it sometimes if you know how player play you can make decisions that are not uh, mm, GTO or near GTO but you can do it and it can bring better results even than uh, GTO plays because if you for example one situation if you would know your opponent hand every time if you could see their hands you would play uh, every hand in the poker if you see their, their hands because you, you don't need to know them GTO you just you know you know exactly what they have and you will just play uh, exploitively all the time so the key in poker in my opinion is to understand your opponent that well uh, that you can know which hands he plays in what way and how he thinks uh, generally about poker that's the biggest and try to get information about his strategy that's are the key in my opinion here it feels this player is re this player is also really tight after betting turn small size This hand is called against that size, but against this player I will fold. 
I play with him uh, and I never saw a bluff this is true but uh, my range is big blend versus small blend a little polarized so it's a true but uh, I don't didn't see him bluffing a lot and uh, for sure he didn't bluff with that smaller size a lot our hand is okay I want to see this player to check him out. Protest the hero, and he's not. He's not in the. You see, uh, our polarized range. This board doesn't hit that that good at all. Uh, and generally, people with linear range can bet really a lot here, and I can't because our range has hands like jack nine, has hands like eight nine off, has hand like jack eight off, it has hands like king eight off. So definitely our range can, must check a lot queens here. I'm checking king queen here always, small blend versus big blend. So uh, it's not, this is pretty good for his bluffing range because jack, jack 10 got there and king jack got there we are not turning jack 9 into bluff so and king 10 also got there so he should be betting this river pretty often with mixing with shouts and small size you see he had 7 8 it's clear you, s you see that this is a clear bluff because this jack hits him so good there is jack 10 there there is a king jack there there is a king 10 there and all that hands can bet small against our like ace kings are like hands like tens hands like eight hands like sevens hands like ace nine jack is clear value but you see and he didn't do it this hand is terrible for a shove bluff but it's really good as a one third and put in a tough spot, hands like eights. And he didn't do it. Okay, big blind versus cutoff. Let's see the range. He didn't call it for call even once. I think this is high frequency bet also. But I I just don't know his range. His range would be need to be 35% call in a tree bet. Hence, like ace eight off calling big line versus cut off, and I, I see that he called first time, so I just don't know his range, and that's why I didn't bet one third. I have also part of a seven off in the range that is also checking against him at least. I can bluff raise it. I can call it against this small size. Against half of the pot, I would bluff raise it. But against this small size, I need to defend really a lot, and it's clear call. If we see queen ten, he will have thirty percent at least. So maybe it's just the sample issues. Probably it is. Probably he's defending the way it should be. because he's a reg uh, I, I I was going through team stat name and he's a, a reg winning reg so it must be the problem in just the sample that he didn't got hands on big one versus cutoff and he folded every single one of them I'm not sure about this guy is he a reg or not there's no one the stat name anything about him so I'm not sure. But I would say that he is just based on the orbit here. Uh, just based on this orbit with the seven eight. Just based on this orbit. I don't think he's probably a reg, but he's not good reg because I feel like everybody that 
has good ranger strength knowledge would know that uh, this jack is really good for him and really bad for our checking range because we are not checking a lot of jacks jacks on the flop queen nine deuce will, will be a bluff with our civet so jack is the worst one of the worst cards uh that we can get on the river we have only pocket jacks that is hitting this river and he didn't turn it into bluff with the small size at least even this hand is a really bad bluff but on that run out it can be good one third bluff because one third it need only work in 25 percent of cases and it will work more on that river for sure okay trivet thing here against kuro and against kuro we don't know his range so when i don't know the range like i s told you in previous streams i'm just gonna use my imaginary range that i think the player should be having and just stick with that we still didn't have opportunity to use badges because when the badges are uh, divided into the four scenarios preflop ones flop turn and river and when i'm in the scenario and on the spot against the player then i i look at the badge if it's something significant it is here for example this guy calling we steals with the ace king it's significant because but small man versus button or big man versus button ace king should be always a four bet or most of the time four bet so if somebody calls three still with ace king it's definitely something that's a big deal because it weakens here four betting range and also it gives strength to some boards that usually they don't have board coverage on so this is something significant a significant thing thing is this in the tribet pots river c bet week so if this player is barreling triple barreling uh, week in a tribet pots raise river on a third flush but we don't see the hand and this is uh, when flush has been missed his step range but also uh, it's on one occasion a little more uh, of a sample it's needed but something like this can be useful only in the beginning and something like this if player is see uh, triple barrel in hand that shouldn't be triple barrel bluff then you can just make assumption that he's uh, probably over bluffing because if he's triple barrel is something that should never be a bluff then he will probably also barrel something that should be a bluff and when you connect that too he'll over bluff for 10 this guy also have pretty narrow calling range big man versus button let's see it's only 25 percent if you connect that with his tributing which is like 10 percent you get only 35 percent of range so this guy won't have hands like queen nine off even that can be also side yes but i don't see a queen nine off 8-8, eight, eight, ace-8 eight off. I don't see this type of the range, like 8-9, nine, 9-10, nine, king-9, nine, queen-9, nine, jack-9. Nine. I don't see that. This hand is a call for 25, 1.5. And let's see a Kuro. Kuro-137. pretty bad Ben Smith let's see how he play against the 4 bet he didn't 5 bet once against call 4 and this is he did shove pretty quickly he's pretty aggressive post flop a uh, pre-flop and the question is how he see us i feel he will see us as aggressive there so i'm just gonna call it uh, 
this is spot where it's pretty depending on the player uh, my call for range in this type of situation is pretty wide so I'm I'm, I'm gonna call for with the queen queen suited king jack suited queen jack suited knights and when you think about that then jacks are pretty high up uh, it is small line versus cutoff and button this is just player dependable and I don't know him that good to, to just be able to say okay this will be a fault so I'm not gonna fold it but it's split pretty in this position it's just depending on the player we are checking here with all our range no donking we are not equity favorite we, we just can't donk and I see his regs that have like nuts in these pots just going like with set donking in three way pots I think it's pretty bad uh, here with the player is a fish uh, I can raise with bigger size he's big fish And I will shove the river. The five doesn't change anything except hand like ace five. And he will have a lot of ace six hands. His high to showdown is high. When to showdown is high. I want to showdown is low. Uh, I'm going to just shove it. I think this person has. They will not fall a lot with ace six. And in that spot, uh, just size, it's not even important. I think, I feel that they're, they're gonna defend third, three quarters of the pot, or shove like this with the same hands. So it's not that much of a difference. When you have value hand, then it's better just to shove. I think they will defend the same. R when you see high showdown and low uh, one on showdown, A8 is a fold against 70%, sometimes a tribute, but I'm not going to call it. Sixes. This is the really significant stuff slow playing slow playing blind versus blind and check back so i will explain it it's really really important and this is clear call with sixes it's a clear fold on this board also you see his barreling stats he's double barreling quite a lot it has to it has to do with something about head strength uh, hand range of his tribute range strength of his tribute range and against half of the pot it's always a fold even with the blocker this board 9 10 3 it's really good for him uh, his bluffs really connected they can double barrel a lot uh, so a lot of top pairs in the range a lot of four pairs and a lot of good draws and against the type of board or that the type of the range and this board structure you're just gonna fold these pocket pairs and you're gonna generally overfold in that door board and that's why the good strategy is because you are overfolding you just uh, put a lot of hands into your check raise range because you are overfolding you need to some you need to do something to uh, how how can I say that because you are falling that much you just need to uh, have a bigger raising range check raising range to compensate that folds 
because we are overfalling let's put definitely his range can double barrel there without any problems with high frequency our our pocket pairs just can't do anything and that's why the best strategy is to put a lot of and again i don't have that again i don't have that out the top one <coughs> Yes, I wanted to speak about this. You see, there is uh, generally a lot of different type of players. And uh, you want to know about this type of players. You see, he's stabbing 33%, but you don't know that he, this guy is checking flop with the top pair plus a lot. You see, like four of five times, it's checking ace nine, four with the ace 10. He's checking that behind. Uh, and like in uh, blind versus blind spot this guy will call with the trips he'll he'll just only call with the straight so this guy will slow play a lot and what they do it uh, fucks up his raising range we see nine percent raising range and slow playing a lot of sets a lot of trips a lot of straights uh, and you just need to be warned about that so uh, this guy has pretty uh he's check backing a lot of good top pairs so uh, your strategy needs to change really a lot on, against this type of players that's why i put this as a really big deal because suddenly your overbets won't good do like like very well uh like delay c bet as overbet which is something that is quite often you need to do but it won't be so successful against these type of players but his steps are gonna be really, really poor, and he's gonna be balanced, uh, polarized in that spot, and you can take advantage of check raising him a lot, and double check raising him a lot. That's the thing you can really abuse against these type of players because they're just not balanced. This is fold. Open this, uh, calling this. Against 13%, it's a, I mean, it's always call, I just want to see at least the range, 12 to 12% is like eight, eight jack, king, queen of. Also, he won't have that many air on this type of the board he should be betting it with all range 12 percent hits he hits this really good let's see how he plays see betting pretty frequently against us pretty every time <laughs> almost this is clear call Uh, let's see how he played flush hits, third flush hits and tribute pots. He's checking range till now. Every time, three out of three times, he check, checked. So he'll keep. We can assume that he will check a lot. This is his first bet, and this is our fault on the on the turn. He should be generally betting this pretty frequently. So it's not. Even on a HUD, he didn't do it. Because he can bet tens here, jacks, queens, he can bet it with small size. So he did it real good. He used that small size. And, uh, and that's the way he should be playing. So a really good play. And nothing you can do with that hand. Today I, I started uh, 
like two hours later than I should. Uh, that won't be happening in the future because now when the Champions League is over, at least for this week, I will just uh, generally do streams in two, 22 hours. I think that's the best. 22 hours, uh, Central European time. And uh, I think it's better. Now it's pretty late. And generally, I think I won't do it like this again. I'll just stick to the time. Or, ca or, or, or if I don't do it on time, I will not stream. Today I did because I wanted to play a bit. And there is again all this. And it's tilting me a lot. So generally that's it. I will just try to do it on 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, when is after 10, I will just not start. I will need to do, to, to fault again, 6%. I will uh, just try to do it in 10. Generally, when I play, I, I always start later, like this or even later, because I, I get my daughter into bed. Uh, I talk, told her a story or or something like that and again there is no top-up I'm just gonna now leave it because it's irritating uh, so uh, because it's not important if I'm just hour uh, starting uh, like one hour uh, playing later than I should it's not problem I just play one hour more no, nothing special but in streaming it's different and I just won't do it. I want to stick to a good schedule. To a, to a good schedule so everybody know when it starts. Fold this. I have another table that's good. So we can talk more and explain. Tense. Tribut. Call tribute range twenty nine percent in the heads up. Okay, we have that other table. <coughs> A six fold. We can tribute it sometimes against the cutoff not pretty often I'll tribute this combination against UTG he's folding 58% this hand is pretty clear in terms of play if he's forbidding you're always folding it and he's over folding he's gonna fold like a jack in this spot so a stand that's a win for a stand that's I'm using it but also I'm not using it pretty often, but against this type of players I'm using it really often, but against normal player I wouldn't do it that often. But it's nice because you you will fold better hand than you are, and you have okay blockers to his tens and aces and ace king, ace queen and stuff like that, so. I really like also this one. This badge is really significant. This badge is really significant. And this one is also pretty significant. So against this player, you'll see a lot of leaks in his game. This is check call, check fold. This is like the uh, badge that will give you the most money. This means he's over f uh, most of the flop. He's not knowing what to do on the turn and he's putting a lot of medium strength hands into a check call turn and then he's fold that medium hand medium strength hand on the river when you uh, shall river against him so let's see if we have data my friend is saying that he doesn't agree with me on the jack jack hand can you Murta explain that in the chat why are not agreeing my range is pretty wide in that spot you know, 
I have eights there. I have queen jack there. I have king queen off there. I have h jack off. Folding jacks in that spot, I think, I don't know how, how I can do it. I just don't know how, ca how I can fold there jacks. Because if you think jacks are pretty high in my range and he's shoving and uh, I call floor to 21.5, I need to get, I need to give 70 something to a pot of 200. I don't need to be good very often and if I'm against this king and tens plus, which how they see me, I think it will be the case. I think it's never a fault, but you can argue. Tell me just why I think it's not a good play. Okay. Uh, jack Jack generally small blind versus cutoff in that positions I think is standard stack off against tracks <coughs> and based on how they see me I think it's also hard for me to be folding even fault has crossed my mind because I don't know that good that Smith guy and he feels a little weak to me maybe that's the reason to a fault but I just put my range in my head and when I know my range it has many hands that are always falling to shove I see the jacks are pretty high up Nines. Small one versus cut of around 11%. It's probably like eights plus Asia King Queen, wheel aces. Interesting board. Hmm, check. He's betting 92%. I'll step on third. On monotone, we don't have sample how he plays monotone boards. Pretty strange that he's checking. He did bet every possible board. His CBT is 92%. And if you think about his range, hence like 8 plus, hmm. You see, like, hand like Ace Queen, hand like Ace of Diamond, Queen of Hearts, for example it's not that bad to bet because if he's if he's having ace of diamond queen of hearts he's really blocking hands like ace of that like hands with my blockers so i'll have fewer uh flushes and on the, on the fourth uh color he can bluff them on nicely On this board, I'm pretty polarized. Small blind versus button. Let's see his step. Uh, against him, I'll just bet. You see, he's checking behind versus Miss Sabit 80% of the time. You see, checking behind hands like okay, Ace King, hands like Ace, and you see, like Ace 10 there. On three, five, six at least, then I would prefer stabbing it. This is his check behind. He's checking behind four out of the five time. He stabbed on the ones. So if I generally I would be polarized in queen nine four, 
but when I saw this type of player, I would just go and uh, bet. It's much better to bet because he's gonna check behind really frequently, and I just don't want that. He's folding also a lot, so exploitable strategy against him is to see bet frequently. Uh, you see, his this is check versus miss see bet. I really like this, so you can see a strength of anybody's check range. If you see here like top pairs, you saw that he did check behind here like ace three, which is good. But if you see here like top pairs and stuff, it's really significant and important. And we have here check versus miss turn bet. That's also really important because to go to know do you want to bet check bet shove is a bluff. You need to know is the guy capable checking behind turn with the top pair stuff or slow playing with the set. So that's why I put that those stats also really nice stats to know. Then because you often uh, find yourself in a spot where you see that whole range on the flop on the turn it's terrible for you to bluff and the guy is checking behind and you're on the river with nothing and what you can do with when you have nothing you you you're just thinking should i bluff this or not and then you go see okay i want to know he's checking behind turn range and if it's weak then okay let's bluff with what you have so it's important in in that matter also this is important check fault turn uh, really often so this guy is checking the turn in tribute pot you see three means for tribute pots you're just gonna stab him always because he's really really folding it that stuff is pretty pretty useful and you just don't need to think about your ranger stuff because if you have if he has that badge he will just uh, overfold you don't need to think oh should I do it do I rep something you just don't you just go and do it mathematically you will uh, you will get the money it will pay off you see this guy has badge raise in position frequently so he's raising 18 percent in position and on the other occasion he's still playing a lot so calling flop with the uh, trips checking flop with the uh, not flushes and he's raising like so you see something is wrong uh, when you see stuff like this and against I would say against the forex and opening pretty narrowly this is his green green one means opening this one is limp because it's a green mo green uh, color means aggressive line like raise three bet four bet five bet and blue line is passive line like limp call call of the tribute and call of the four bet Panzer, I agree, I agree, but uh, if I just think of my range in that matter, I feel if I'm folding jacks, I'm overfolding. It's just a matter of my range. If I have like 8, 9, 10 there, if I have queen jack suited, king jack suited, it's just a lot of hands that are folding. I don't want to be a guy that called 4 bet and fold 70%. But it's player dependable, that's the problem, and I don't know the player really good. But I would guess generally in most of the pools if you're playing normally you won't be getting shot by tens and if you're not getting shot by tens ever and you play normal strategy you are normal uh normal reg i think you can fold jack jack that's like all all there is uh 60 60 around 60 percent so all suited hands so we're going to bet one third with most of it, he's falling 44%, but still needs to float, hence like 9-10, jack-10, hence like king-x, hence like king backdoor flush, queen backdoor flush, he needs to float all of those hands, and he's falling to one third, 34%, so a little higher than should be, but still I feel it's gonna have that floats there. Uh, 
I'm betting with this. I'm not over betting here. I have also range advantage. I don't need to over bet in this spot. I can just bet turn. With normal side. Uh, here, it's interesting. This guy is really overfolding to a true bet. He's calling 4% of the time. I will only call against him just to mix it in. He will fold really a lot. Okay, he will forbid, but I know he's forbidding range. Okay, he's has stands there in these positions, but okay, it's not problem. And also this guy will squeeze a lot of, when you see this guy that is folding really hard, he will squeeze a lot. And having queens here, it's okay. You see? Now we can do, now we can do, with a four bit or a call, I'm going to go like this. I saw also he's squeezing against me 11% when I'm in the hand. And this, I really like this play. I mix it once, two times, sometimes I mix it. And also I can have bluffs, I can have hands like ace-queen, because against this guy I will never uh, tribute ace-queen when he's folding 60%. Ace-queen is just waste of a tribute there. I will tribute against him ace-10, but not ace-queen. So I can mix ace-queen there, king-queen or stuff like that. And also I have reads on this guy and um, I remember a hand with the ace queen that he played. It was a call four bit pot on the ace queen. I still played kings there, and the board was two, uh, three, four, five, or two, four, five. And he bet, and I raised small, and he shoved ace queen on me, and I had kings. So I like to do against him this type of play because if he had like nines, he would rip it in for sure. I'm, I can bet on it. And just to little to add that little element because I know that I know how he thinks and I think that's why I decided to call queens mainly because of him and then they also know this player will fold really really a lot and they won't see us having a really good hand often so that's why I did it. Uh, here I can check raise, I would rather have a hand like queen 8, and I got king jack, king jack has two overs, uh, it's m in my opinion far better as a call, hand like queen 8, it's for me better. And let's see if he has all that range there, and this player is not using a lot of all that range, let's see in which type of, of spots he would use it. Okay, he wouldn't use it here, so he can have still st strong hands. Uh, hands like whole house is in normal betting range. And here, how we look? We look here like hand like 9 jack, 9 king 9, queen jack. That's like how we look. We don't look many 10x because he know I would check raise a lot of them. So we look like that. So now we're going to see what he will do. Let's see if he's doing over bet range on the river. And I think he is. Yep, he's doing an over bet range on the river. I feel that he would over bet here uh, with. He would over bet here with the, with the pool house. And I will jam here. And also I can do this with 9 jack here, I can do this without problem, so he knows that 
we played 13k hands and let's see one crucial information here let's see his bet fold so after betting turn in position how much he bet folds we see that he bet folds after check a lot so he's gonna fold the raise a lot okay so our play would be really good with nine jack there really good but and mostly we saw that he's using over bet range on the river and that's quite important for us to do, to be able to do this and also i feel it like only size that has sense for us is shaw because generally uh, we shouldn't be showing this why because he can have full house but i saw that he's using orbit range and i know that he's using orbit range with the full especially against me who likes to call light so when i know that i practically can behave like i have the nuts and i can mix in the bluff scene and if i'm bluffing like i'm gonna bluff with the all in size and we have we have bluffs here so and that's the reasoning fence uh we have we should having check range in this spot if the the reg is there but if reg is not there and this guy is a fish then no we should be having bet range but tens look in my opinion uh, bad as a bet three way even they have possibility to bluff especially with 10 of hearts but generally i feel uh, you can play them just as a check and also i want to see a multi-way here no information about him multi-way i know everything he doesn't stab a lot in multi-way only 23 percent and we saw that he's check backing a lot so a lot of top pairs in his check back range check flop with the top pair really a lot hence like ace 10 ace 10 on the ace 9 4 which ace 10 is really high when you think about it because it should be tributing for example blind versus blind ace 10 it's pretty high ace ace jack is tributing so ace 10 is your best ace if it's not two pairs so if he's checking bet that strong then his step range definitely is significantly weaker and he's admitting that that's why his step is really low five six also i wanted to say uh i will get into a stream one really good player he's one of the biggest winners in the history of the mid stakes i would say he's playing 20 years and he's the biggest winner on mid stakes on 888 he's the he was like almost banned he's like mid stakes really i didn't see ever higher win rate than him and i would get him on a stream and this is a call We see that he's 16% against me, so it's clear call. It's under 3x. Here we can have check raising it. I don't like it too much, but he doesn't fold a lot on check raise. Lean praise to this guy. Against this size, I'll call. And here I'll fold against this. This guy, 2319, this aggression, he's limp raising me 5x. And when he just limps small by night, it just feels fishy. And it feels suspicious. This guy should be checking here really a lot. 
seven is really connected you should be checking really a lot if he's betting uh, he's not falling to race so I'm just shoving just because I'm shoving here main reason for me to shove here is just because he shouldn't be betting turn quite often and I see his double bearings like crazy and when I see this I'm just gonna shove because he's not aware that he should be checking here a lot And I see, I, I, I think this is clear check behind on this turn. Because when I show, it's pretty shitty spot for his king jack there. He's never in a good spot. So this hand, I think, on this seven, because this seven is so connected, connected there, because we always have sevens there. Uh, we have nines there. We have seven, eight there. We have nine jacks suited against 16% uh, always so pretty pretty bad 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 bad, sh bad call turn when he's bad calling he doesn't have equity for bad call I, I for sure our bluffs are also ace nine suited we also have like ace five of hearts here and that hand is terrible against this type of hands pretty bad play Check, 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 raise turn. Also interesting badge. When you see this type of badge and you see that guy is stabbing 53%, that means that his stab is full of shit or his check raise is full of shit. And you just need to check it to see which line is full of shit. Because one of them are. You can have check, 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 raise turn a lot range and stab range a lot. It just doesn't mix together well, very well. I was also thinking about uh, streaming uh, MTTs in Sunday, but I don't think I what I saw that on the stars there is a lot of good ones. So I can pass it to a week where it will be good. Week like March, where will be 10 million Sunday million. I will stream that. I will stream them, I will play Sunday Million, I would like to play that Bounty Builder, there are good uh, that 100 Bounty Builder, 300k or even 400k on Sundays and that $500 uh, Bounty Builder is also 350k and sometimes they put it also on like f half of the million, really good tournament, really good structure i like it and uh, i also play um uh, this is fold i have them like 10 on stars check only check we have the age check okay definitely 10 around 10 tournaments and stars and you basically don't need anything else i'll fold trees against utg so i will stream it then in march when there is that big tournament now is there is no nothing basically nothing good again we are against 60 percent 
so all suited hand in his call range big man versus small blind hands like seven nine of us so they are significant in board uh, coverage because he'll hit boards differently he'll have because he, he has like seven nine off in the range big man versus small blind is so it and this is like also queen eight of five ten of pretty strange then then it has to be little even more this guy is out of position like crazy three out of four times he see he did see that still six is our fault i think and also he he, he should be checking a lot against team position player on one of the boards Let's see exactly on monotone boards. Okay, one out of one time. Basically, and he di did see that even nine or lower board. So these are low boards, and when it's low board, definitely player that calls on button has significant range advantage. And like most check range should be played out of position. Okay, just one third here. Let's go to see how much. 28, 3 bet around 8, that's 36, so it's Thunder Rage, Ace 8 off. All of Broadway's in the range. King do suited, uh, King do suited plus, even with all Queen suited plus, Jack, f Jack 5, 7, 10 suited. So his range is a little bit wider, but I think it's normal against 2.5x open something like that is also my range so 35% against cutoff tribute or call Sti uh, because but sometimes I, I defend even more uh, against some type of people that I know how they play and against button it's like 55% it's wider 10% like wider than it should be but I, I have a different tribute range, so it's okay. We'll just go uh, seven. He's opening 23%, falling 60% on tribute. Pretty high. Mm -hmm. We can go with even bigger size. He's not falling too at all to see that his range is 70%. He has 6 10 off in the range, so definitely big size. And I'm going with big size on the turn against this type of player. But just think about how many 10x he has. This player will never bluff raises, so. I think we just bet and fall to a raise because three or four aggression folding to but he's gonna have even floats hand like king queen so okay he has a flush and he didn't raise it but generally I just feel like bet that fold against guy that has 80% range and he's not aggressive so I can just Bet fold it. He's never bluffing us and he will call us with worse hand, so I feel it's okay. Let's see how this player reacts to a call four. I see this guy doesn't five bet, but call calls four and he called it with kings. Our range has his queen here. It has uh, suited Broadway, so we are basically betting 100% here. We have all his queens, we have king queen suited. His range of calling forward is so that he has kings. He probably has also aces there. But we also generally see hands like jacks, kings he shout, okay, is king suited. So he's gonna have a king here, probably. 
we can go one third here we can go check here <laughs> let's go to four bit top up just to see how he plays he's not falling in position but he fought a lot on the turn so i'm going to check the turn here we're gonna have his king also which is pretty high bet on the turn with blockers so i think kings should be also bet frequently let's see his river fall do we use bigger or smaller size when he called when check check turn out of position he falls to a big size really a lot so i'm ju just going to use smaller size he folds to a bigger size 88 percent so he's going to fold the shell everything and still he has hit tens and jacks and he's not going to call tens and jacks to show he's now wrapping a slow play here and you we use smaller size so now all of you will tell me now he's this guy's never bluffing here and i think but we are again using the smaller size i'm going to mix it with stronger hands let's see his range he did turn queen eight here into bluff but generally he will have top top flat i'm just gonna call it but yes basically it's a tough call he's not gonna bluff i saw he's turning this into bluff, but i think he's not gonna bluff it against me but you see i need to protect here my my small size We are blocking king queen suited. That's also what crossed my mind. And we have a king. I I don't I don't see me blo blo uh, folding here, kings. I'll have tens jacks. I'm gonna bet them also on the river with the defensive bet. I'm gonna check them on the turn a lot. I just know this guy. I know he's not gonna bluff, but still our kings are pretty high in our range. I know I will have ace queen here and I'm gonna play it exactly the same, but still kings are just and this guy won't have ace queen off in a calling range of the of the in a cold call uh, he's not gonna call uh, our call four with ace queen off so he's wrapping basically aces and hand like queen x and nines. So basically he wraps only that. And what he's gonna bluff here, uh, he would need to change hand like nine ten suited into bluff, hand like tens, which I don't believe. But hand that can be bluffed can be ace king uh, in his range with the ace of diamond. That can be a bluff. That can be a bluff that also check behind his turn. So I'm, I'm gonna just check one thing which I think it's important and I didn't check it check behind turn range here you see this guy check behind draws eight so I don't see any like slow place in his checking behind turn range uh, definitely when I see this I would I'm, I'm uh, now I'm pretty happy with the call now I'm pretty happy with the call just because he doesn't have uh, from the HUD I don't see many slow plays and he's wrapping the slow play also the aces aces are in his range also and aces are depending what he see me but uh, I will have also but he's blocking a screen and we will have a screen off in the range and he doesn't have it and I will play exactly the same with the a screen with the small size on the river just because I'm aware of my range and and his range and his range is quite condensed in the matter of speaking because uh, we saw that he's checking behind pretty capped range pretty weak range in the tribute pots we can do that analogy for forbid but definitely still here uh, definitely his a lot of his range are like tense jacks here uh, we also we also saw that he has ace king. 
uh, important thing is would he stab a king on the turn that's also important we just don't know that in this spot we saw that he did check behind some draws we saw that he uh, if i saw he here this we saw that he did stab here with ace king then then it's tough i felt that he won't bluff me just because i'm not following this and then but i i still feel kings if i fold kings here it's pretty weak play and he has some bluffs in in his we saw in his uh, bluff in raising river but here the bluffs would be that ace king and i don't think he's now when i said i i don't think that he will check behind the ace king there just based on how how i think about him and how i see him i just feel he's gonna bet that ace king a really a lot and then when you think about it it's hard I would bluff here against that small size, but I don't think he would. Uh, triple check, I'm gonna go with the orbit here. Let me see. He's the, can I use the smaller size? Pogba fold versus rear even position. I can use those smaller size. One third. I can use one third. Interesting hand, but okay. We got kings into the aces, but I also feel like kings. Uh, the way I play, I think I need to bet kings on the turn because I barreled that turn really a lot. Of, I'm aware that I have a screen and he ha doesn't have it off combination and I would really bet that turn aggressively and now I didn't bet it aggressively and that's why I'm a little bit mad just because uh, range wise I'm just gonna bet it so frequently the turn and if I checking the kings then my check range is pretty strong pretty too strong and bluff heavy I would say that my barrel range is bluff heavy if I'm checking the turn with the kings that I think should be bet just based on the range and how I play it's just better as bet I should bet turn one third with the kings and bet river like one fourth it would be the same but still I would play the, the my range better again I'll go with the bigger size But interesting hand you see how for example here I'm not I, I wasn't uh, paying attention my range that much and I put the Kings in the check range and a lot of players would do that and that's mistake if they are aggressive I mean that's mistake because if you are like bluffing without equity there and you should be bluffing sometimes with hands like uh, for example, okay, Ace King has equity, but you will you will bluff with the Ace King without blockers also. And I'm checking Kings that doesn't have sense. I just need to be aware that my range is so strong there that I need to bet turn, and that's it. And bet river, I definitely play play that a lot better if I bet turn. So I'm th that's why I'm a little bit mad of myself. But you do, you, you just, you, you just misplay hands sometimes. Still, the way I played it, when I'm checking the turn, my range, my perceived range in my head is not folding to a river a raise ever with the kings there. Just when you think about all the nines and tens. And, and also, I don't like the one turn now. It's better one fourth much better size again we are just going big size we are going all bet on the turn but he falls flat on the reverse but still here 
because this guy will have a lot of shitty hands you see that he's calling like hand like 5 10 off so he's gonna have queen 8 queen 9 off and I'm just gonna order bet against that range so many weak hands so many king 7 off you see like king 8 off we will go to Pio just to see but definitely I know the way I play I should bet the turn how many is king I have there that want to bet how many ace queen I got there that wants to bet I don't see why I check that king so 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 bad it's, it's terribly played And that's the, that's the reason more I I I, uh, I wanted to call the river, just based that I'm checking something I shouldn't be checking, and now the situation is the that I'm with faced I, I I bet small, I looks I look weak there, and he's shoving. And also he's a good reg. I mean he's winning reg. And if you're pulling like that, kings, people can just change their game eventually he's not falling to when he's checking uh, two times so I'm gonna check a lot of Atex so or bet in the turn has a lot of sense I'm gonna check him again but I, I think he's really winning Greg yes he's winning Greg but not too good and he's not too aggressive on drill I must say that I just fucked the hand up to be honest and that's it there is no defending there I fucked the hand up I didn't bet the turn against not aggressive reg and I bluffed that a lot bluffing that spots a lot just because uh, I'm aware that I'm having so many queen x and I check kings that I shouldn't be checking. So fucked hand in two way. On the turn fucked up and the problem in the river. And one is connected to another. Mm, this is check race for me. Let's see his stab range. 51%. I like it. He's checking it. Definitely, we are we're we are here. Delaying. We have many six hands. He's not falling. You see, this is false versus delay. And this is called delay fall turn. It means he's not falling ever almost. And he has many top pairs. I'm calling it. let's see here aces can call us so I'll, I'll give up here aces can call that's what I'm seeing he he's donking 10% we don't know the range but he bets the turn also really often I think aces can also just call based on the diamond also What he's donking and calling raise with? <laughs> Probably I would say 10x. I didn't feel that this player would like step 6x. Six, six, six and now I'm jamming. This is strange line, definitely. But it's a fish. He's not aggressive, but still. He had he had a hand here really really good but played it i mean really bad he had i would say check raise of the flop but when he's like betting the turn he's isolating himself
but still that hand with King Sir in, in my head I just can't believe that I that I made such a misplay on the turn we'll just put it on the peel and I'll show my range that has so many A screens and his range doesn't have A screen off we have queens, we have A screen, we have aces kings, we have jack stands all that hands want to bet small on the turn we, we basically want to bet everything on the turn and I'm checking kings with the diamond so 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 bad it's just bad play see double barrel range let's see his bet check bet really low bet check bet and will you have it you see okay he did bluff four here force here with the four straight queens for value and this for value okay middle pairs if it's bet check betting i'm folding just based on low bet check bet and let's see the river pop up and this size he just really wraps his yeah, so here a lot of bluffs should be betting the turn also he's betting a lot on the flop he's gonna have his highs in the betting range so when he's bet check betting after checking turn let's see after checking turn in position range a low pair but this is eight for ready for for bluffs and this is already hands there i'll just fold it I think people uh, have a hard time to bet check bet as a bluff, especially in this spot when the turn got ace and he's having a high frequency bet on that he's bet betting probably 100% on the on the board of the ace of the of the that pair board how it was queen queen six yes queen queen six he's betting 100% of the range I think so uh, here big size step turn here let's see how, mu how much he calls deep I'm betting one third here and on the river I'm betting one third again The guy saw that we just call shout there with the king. So if I'm betting one third on the river, there is no high chance that he's gonna bluff it against us. That's for sure. Also, I think king is a clear bet. Queens. I like just small. We can do half pot, but I like one third. Queen jack fold. Queen jack open. What I'm saying. Sixty percent of range again, but we saw five ten off, and three ten off. So that's okay. That was against two x, but still. That was against 2x, okay. But still, 5 10 off. But I think against us it would be 60%. We can even check how much is against us. Against the hero is even lower, it's 57%, and we only see a normal hands there. Maybe it's even 55%. I see queen 8 off, it's check 8 off there also, and probably like 6 7 off. 14% uh, standard range, little tighter, ace plus, ace jack, ace queen, king queen, suited aces, suited connectors. Yeah, 
maybe even know all of the suited ones against one third sixes are called he should be bluffing here with hands like like no equity hands like uh, king queen off queen 10 queen jack queen 9 blocking a screen is important so hands like that he should be bluffing with he used smaller size again which is nice that means he can bet queens there let's see his check call on the turn you see i don't think he's i'm gonna call and i will explain you why i'm calling uh, I, I don't think that he's gonna uh, bet hands like tens there I think he's gonna polarize himself on uh, he's gonna be polarized himself based on his check uh, calling range and turn a lot that jack is not good queen jack got the, there but still I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the like this just bet I want to bet like a sex here I'm gonna bluff with this this jack I don't like check folding river a lot I said that nice size for we, we just look like an a sex uh, I I should bet here I didn't see it I should be betting here with this But it can be also a check raise. I will jam here. Based on the stack on, on the stacks with the ace king and king blocker. open sixes yes I wanted to explain why I called uh, I saw his check calling range has medi a lot of medium strike hands and it's uh, in that board structures aces aces uh, uh, aces eight uh, I think the way he play he would check all the hands that hands in that range and then when you just get uh, his bet turn is polarized to a6 uh, mostly and and bluffs and in that spot I called it and when the hit river and the third color uh, he's gonna keep that jack because bluff bluff would be hands like queen uh, 10 queen jack that queen jack mainly as a bluff, a blocking ace queen and ace jack, and uh, that's why I bet. Uh, and I also, I use small size half of the pot and the river, uh, where I where, where I would just bet every ace sex. I didn't want to shove the hand because I would then rep polarize, and I didn't want to do it. I want to rep on ace sex. I don't like bluffing here. I should bet the turn if I want, but not this. Like this, it's not it's not really good. <coughs> I'll go to Pio and maybe even practice a bit. just to see fold here against 35% opening uh, let's go 35 against us is 44 but we don't know it's pretty tight I'm usually defending this but against this tight of the range I want and basically 35% 
we see that he is betting also uh, high numbers that means his range is probably strong that can do that but shouldn't also see that should be around 30 percent out of position when you mix it all together around 30 if you especially if you exclude blind and like i did on my hard i exclude small blind versus big blind uh, from out of position just because here the strategy is a lot different and the cbet is pretty much higher a lot higher a lot of one third betting and stuff like that and and uh, in uh, out of position you won't be betting that much especially because range in position player will be a lot strong and constitution of the range uh, will be will hitting flops harder than you so generally you want to check a lot again uh, for example on many boards check range is also against four percent call range on button a lot of checking all low boards hit him terribly good because all sets uh, hits him good and he doesn't have many floats he doesn't have many overcards in the range so uh, basically every f every every board hits him good and if you're sitting against that type of the range he can just use a raise strategy and kill you because just think about 60% raising 60% uh, civet out of position and you hit the board like shit like crazy uh, board is like three four seven and the guy bets on you you just raise all the range if he's betting 60% because why would you call board is 357 you go you have all sets and you don't have many bluffs so hence like 357 four, six, you just raise everything everything that you continue you can just raise against this type of strategy and his strategy then will be doomed that's why out of position is so important to have a w awareness of the range and, and uh, have uh, uh, the right frequencies and this number should be around 30, 20, 30, 30 to 40 if you include big blind and small blind, or like this is 20 to 30. Because still there is boards where you hit the harder, boards like the two broadways, then you have an advantage, but when you mix it all together, it, it can be 50% or 60 or 57 or 80% here. Is queen squeeze like this? Let's see how this play against the squeeze. He folded. Let's see how this play as a caller fold. Okay, he folds everything. I'll go with the big size here against this player that doesn't fold at all. He's gonna have many hands like king nine and king ten king jack so bigger size is way to go check 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 that i i, I thought about bluff raising it we have jack eight off that we won't bet the turn quite often I can raise also with the hand like jack 10, jack 9, but not against this type of check check bet first time out of 5. We don't just need to, we don't need to do it. Three bet against him fall to a four bet yes definitely against him fall to a four bet definitely <laughs> i will get back on stars when i stream next time i will start in 10 i promise for the next time definitely in 22 hours i won't be late i will be calling here and using uh, more polarized against him
falling 62%. I'm just gonna put it in a call range and trip that it's like a history of. Fifty four percent of the bet, one third. We don't know on this board is he gonna use but you know if you want use uh, like high frequency bet. High frequency high frequency C bet strategy I meant on the turn mostly equity uh, range play and then using one port here I saw like 54 uh, uh, 54% that means he won't bet like nines then that's really good for the small size then that's really good for the small size Okay, we have table broken, and I see that uh, all the people are gone, all the tables on iPoker are gone. We just need to finish them. I'll just go to Pia to see that hand. Uh, new table and my I just want to see that hand in Pia. I know I fucked the hand up. I just want to check it. That hand with the kings. I wanted to see it. I definitely want to see. Uh, what Pia does and I want to see if my turn bet should be like I said high frequency bet with kings because kings need value they want protection basically I'm sure that I fucked the hand up 100% We'll go to Pio. I'll just need to uh, I'll leave uh, leave my poker to turn off the Pio, and I need to quit hand to note and then open hand to note again. Pio viewer. Oh. Okay, and hand to note again. Just let me see how the how you see Pio. You see it good, okay? Okay. I'll just see the stack sizes and everything, so I can just check the hand up like it was. Like it was so. This is our worst hand, okay. So we called for we called for bet big line versus button versus cutoff, okay. So our tributing range will look like something like this. I would put this every time, this most of the time, this most of the time like half time this half time this half time maybe this sometimes like 30% check 10 hence like low and, and this will be ace 5 always something like this I feel it would be and half of the this so I would like do it like this probably Distributing range button wise is I think 14. Let me see. Let me check. Yes, 14. Okay. Then this is okay. Uh, let's see his calling of the four bet. So it's button versus cutoff and big blind call four. Let's go here. Uh, Okay, it is this, it is this, it is button versus 4-bet, 
Um, so cut the button here, big blind in this button cross. So that his GTO defend. Okay, he has a screen there. But I think that player wouldn't have it. So I will just I put it like I think this player ha has. So that is similar in my game. I think in, in like it was in my game. Okay, and the board is queen nine, queen of diamonds. Uh, board is 46, 111, 46, 111, uh, my strategy, we will add this sizes, like this, and his steps would be like this, uh, turn like this, turn him like this uh, his raising will be 2.8 2.5 3 x 3 x 3 x and do like this so 3 x here and uh, and on the river let's put def something like defensive and let's put something like this for us, let's put 33 and let's put, but I, I would like to put 25, uh, not 32, because I think 25 is better. And like this, build three and let's see. Okay. I want to know, I want to see the turn want to see the turn the kings should be bet the turn i know and i want to see why i didn't do it and i want to see the way i did it is pio calling the kings and that's it i know i fucked the hands up on two places so basically i fucked it in only places it it can be fucked up i did because preflop you can't <laughs> you can't do anything wrong post flop you can on a flop it's always a bet so like i said bet whole range kings wants to do between this and one third and one fourth okay we'll do one third he's defending only by calling his calling is king always uh, with okay with blockers and spade without okay club is pretty 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 bad to have okay so i i understand let's go to the turn turn is bad for sure to a diamond and the kings with diamonds are best frequently and i didn't bet it and i just knew small size to small term bet one third pa is checking it's rarely and clean bet but it's not betting in tens but it's betting jacks okay he's checking queens but he's checking also his queen sometimes which i think it's okay and i would do it sometimes Okay, I need to turn it like this so you can see better. Let me see. Okay, let's go to the f from the beginning. So strategy because I just saw that uh, uh, something clicked and you 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 see the picture uh zoomed in okay basically we should have bet the kings always uh if we do this size he's calling on those we are betting kings with the diamond most of the time uh if we use my size that i use it's betting kings uh most of the time 
so mm, betting kings most of the time is the way to go and I didn't do it so I should have done it like this but I checked when I'm checking and he checks behind he should checking aces but with diamond he should bet them frequently ace king I want to see this mostly a bet if it's not club because club is really bad to have okay he's bluffing with oh uh, he's betting with this is nuts he doesn't bet any other combo okay he's checking behind worse queen betting his good queens checking these queens just because he's aware that he doesn't have queens enough as we do he doesn't have it because of this is queen off so he's checking that to, to balance his range and stabbing this okay check check on the river and the river is river was three of spade and kings are now defensive bet with one third okay it's between defensive bet and bigger bet but mostly defensive bet and when it's defensive bet he shoves with fold queens if, if it has diamonds so I fuck the hand up so having uh, having diamond here is really bad it's a, because it's blocked his ace king that should be bluffed right see when you check he's bluffing with ace king so having king of diamond is really bad thing I didn't even I, th I just thought about that ace king uh, of ace of diamond let's see if he's if he's stabbing that ace king of diamond often you see that he, that, that ace of diamond is a more frequent step than king of diamond so having king of diamond is pretty bad I should have I should have folded the river I, I misplayed the hand and that's because I generally felt uh, obligated to call because I used that small bet and I felt I look weak but I also have good hands there I have a screen there and a screen without blocker is should be bet like this so I fuck the hand up. Let me see if I did it with uh, the way I should have played. So it's betting aces not that often, kings with diamonds almost always. Like I, so I, if I played like I should, I would bet. He would still call, and the river is three of dime three, and we are basically betting again one fourth. with our combo is always betting one fourth okay on the river and he's raising and then we are we are we are calling in this spot now we are calling in this spot we had king of hearts and king of diamonds so we are calling so i i messed the hand up the point is i fucked the hand on the turn i fucked it on the river i played it bad and that's what I can say. Okay, uh, next stream will be always in 22 hours. I won't be late. I will just, uh, I will uh, obey the schedule. And I will, if I'm not in, at the time, I won't be streaming at all. And I will leave on the 2 plus 2 or Poker Pro forum when I will stream again. Thank you. Uh, that few guys that would hear. And see you.